The town of Valleyview, home to about 2,000 people, was ordered to evacuate on May 15 due to a wildfire burning north and west of the town. The fire, which started on May 14, quickly grew to over 20,000 hectares in size, fueled by strong winds and dry conditions. The fire threatened several communities and critical infrastructure in the area, including power lines, gas plants and highways. The evacuation order was issued by the Municipal District of Greenview at 3.30 p.m. Local time, as the fire approached the town from two directions. Residents were told to leave immediately and head south on Highway 43 to the reception center in Grande Prairie. Some residents had to leave behind their pets, livestock and belongings as they fled the flames. The town's mayor, Vern Limbana, said it was a difficult decision to evacuate the town, but it was necessary to ensure the safety of the residents. He said he hoped the fire would be contained soon and that the town would be spared from major damage. He also thanked the firefighters and emergency personnel who were working tirelessly to battle the blaze and protect the town. The wildfire that forced the evacuation of the town of Valleyview was part of the Sturgeon Lake Fire Complex, which consisted of two out-of-control fires that covered more than 4,900 hectares of land. The Sturgeon Lake Fire Complex was located west and northwest of Valleyview, and threatened the nearby Sturgeon Lake Cree Nation as well. The fires were fueled by dry conditions, strong winds and high temperatures, making them difficult to contain. According to Alberta Wildfire, the fires were 3 kilometers southeast of Sturgeon Lake Cree Nation and 10 kilometers northeast of Valleyview as of May 15. The fires caused significant damage to the community, destroying 45 structures, including homes and an elder center. Power infrastructure was also affected by the flames. The residents of Sturgeon Lake Cree Nation were expected to remain evacuated for at least two more weeks due to the ongoing wildfires. The Sturgeon Lake Fire Complex was one of the 88 active wildfires in Alberta as of May 15, and one of the 12 that prompted evacuation orders. More than 24,000 people were displaced by the wildfires across the province. The situation improved slightly with cooler temperatures, higher humidity, and some showers in parts of central and southern Alberta, but the fire danger remained high in many areas. The town of Valleyview was forced to evacuate on May 14, 2023, as a massive wildfire threatened to engulf the community. The evacuation order was one of many issued across Alberta as the province faced an early and severe wildfire season, with 88 active fires burning across nearly 1 million acres. The fires were fueled by hot, dry and windy conditions that created extreme fire behavior and rapid spread. The provincial government declared a state of emergency and deployed hundreds of firefighters, helicopters and air tankers to battle the blazes. Some of the fires were suspected to be human-caused and under investigation. The residents of Valleyview had to leave their homes and belongings behind, hoping to return safely once the fire was contained. Many of them sought shelter in nearby towns or in emergency centers set up by the Red Cross. Some of them shared their stories of fear, uncertainty, and gratitude on social media. The evacuation order was lifted on May 18, 2023, after the fire was brought under control and the air quality improved. The town of Valleyview suffered some damage but no fatalities or injuries were reported. The residents were relieved to be back home but also aware of the challenges ahead. They had to deal with the aftermath of the fire, such as cleaning up, restoring power and water, and applying for financial assistance. They also had to cope with the emotional impact of the ordeal and support each other in the recovery process. The town of Valleyview was one of many communities in Alberta that faced the devastating effects of wildfires in 2023. The wildfire season was one of the worst in the province's history and raised concerns about the impacts of climate change on fire risk and management.